Hey guys, this is Haley and this is me. Hey, welcome to Doctor TV. It's finally here. <laughs> Our crash landing on you final review. We're filming this on the first weekend with no more crash landing on you episodes, so it feels really empty. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, we're gonna put this straight out there. Mm -hmm. This drama was the best drama of 2020. I know we're only in the first two months of this year, but mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. <laughs> no other drama can top this one. Yes, there are so many reasons why we thought this way, so let's go through it one by one. First, let's talk about the storyline. Mm -hmm. Park Jun and her assistant writers did such a great job in creating a seamless plot, character development, and etc. She once said in an interview that she just wanted to write a rom-com and believed that those emotions reach the climax at intense situations. So that's why she chose North and South Korea as the setting. And boy, was she right. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was perfect to amplify Riri couple's love for each other and we just smiled laughed, cried, our hearts ached for them, and we just couldn't get out of this drama because of those intense situations. Yeah, and the way they used Switzerland went perfectly in line with the whole storyline. Mm. It played a key role in explaining their fate in love mm. and um, made us root for them, the mm -hmm. re couple even more. Definitely. Mm. Yeah, and I also liked that this drama wasn't only about romance. It also talked about self-love, love between neighbors, you know, parent-child relationships, and love between your teammates as well. And one thing I like about Park Ji-yeon's dramas is her epilogues. <laughs> It's no exaggeration to say that I watched each episode until the end mm -hmm. only for the epilogue. Yes. Really, because I watched her previous works and I liked the crash landing on news epilogues as much as her other works. Mm -hmm. Next, we can't miss the acting. Mm -hmm. Son Ye Jin and Hyun Bin's acting was so on point and actually, I couldn't distinguish whether they were really dating <laughs> or, or just acting. Mm -hmm. I mean, their chemistry was out of this world. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. But that chemistry wasn't only for Hyunbin and Son Ye Jin. Every single actor in this drama was phenomenal. Yeah. Like from the main leads mm -hmm. to the second leads, and even to rookie actors like Yang Kyung Won. They all added so much color to this drama. Like it was so nice to be introduced to so many new faces, and I hope we get to see more of them in the future. Yeah, and actually, I I really love Kyo Ji Soo. I I love Kyo Ji Soo as much as Lee Jong Young. Dude, same same Kyo girl. Kyo Ji Soo. <laughs> Kyo Ji Soo. <laughs> Okay, now let's talk about how it was produced. Mm -hmm. Of course, I've never been to North Korea, <laughs> but many other North Korean defectors revealed on YouTube that their um, shooting set was mm -hmm. really close to the real world. Mm -hmm. So I think they put a lot of effort in recreating the North Korean mm, setting. Yeah. And I also think this is one of the dramas that made best use of their OSTs. Mm -hmm. The synergy with Riri Couple's farewell scene and I used voice in the background made everything so much sadder. Yeah. <sighs> And Song Gain's OST as well. It had that Korean folk song vibe, mm -hmm. which has the feeling of Han. And Han is a part of Korean culture, which is an emotion of grief and deep sorrow. So it went very well with the sad scenes. Yeah, and when we heard the gunshot while Lee Jung Yeok was talking on the phone with Seri, I got chills when that song came mm, out. Yeah. Oh. I know. And they made such great use of their cameo roles. Mm -hmm. Their parody of Secretly Greatly with Kim Soo-yeon and Stairway to Heaven with Treju. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it left us laughing so hard. Yeah. Best few minutes of this drama. Yep. Best. Okay, let's move on to the ending. Why did Koo Sung Jun have to die? Why? Why? Seriously, <laughs> if he just had to die for Sadan to take revenge on Seri's brother, mm -hmm. I feel like it would have been much better if he lived and they took revenge together. Yeah, he said now he knows where to go because of Sadan. So I was waiting for him to pay off his debt and then live happily with Sadan. Hmm. 
Hey, oh well, let's just believe that he's alive somewhere mm-hmm. in Drama Land. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and for our Riri couple's ending, I think it was the best realistic ending that they could come up with. Not to mention how beautifully it was shot. Yes, as I predicted in our previous first impression video. So he will flee to South Korea if Lee Dong Hyuk defected to South Korea and married Yoon Se Ri. Mm, it would have felt like a forced happy ending. Mm. So even if my prediction was wrong, I was really, really satisfied with the actual ending. Mm-hmm. And lastly, as Koreans, we have to talk about how this drama received some criticism for glamorizing mm-hmm. North Korea. One political party even accused them of violating the National mm-hmm. Security Act. Yes. Well, <laughs> our opinion on that? Their claim was that North Korea is our main enemy since we're technically still at war, so it shouldn't be praised in any way. But the drama depicted those North Korean soldiers only as kind and nice people. Yeah. However, I don't think that this drama glamorized North Korea. In fact, in a way, it was the other way around. Mm-hmm. They included plenty of scenes showing North Korea's lack of electricity, their poverty with those child beggars, mm-hmm. and less freedom and movement, speech, and etc. Yeah, if it praised anything, mm-hmm. it would be the love between neighbors, the love between teammates, and so on. Mm-hmm. So we shouldn't forget that dramas are just fictional stories, not documentaries. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was our final review on Crash Landing on You. It was a great two months of mm-hmm. going through all those emotions together with this drama, and we'll definitely miss it a lot. Please let us know how you thought about it, and we'll see you next time. Then, watch K-drama and fangirl with Doku TV. Bye. Bye.